Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brittany. And if this is your first time stumbling across one of my videos, I usually focus on fashion, beauty, luxury, lifestyle, fragrances, and pretty much whatever else I feel like talking about. So if that seems like something that you may be interested in, please think about clicking on that subscribe button if you enjoy the content, of course. Also, if you're already a subscriber, go ahead and click on that notification bell. I tend to upload twice a week, which is on Sundays and Thursdays. So I don't want you to miss a thing. So in today's video, video I have a Zara haul which you guys love on my channel and I love shopping at Zara you guys know that every single time that I post anything from Zara I get a million questions about size fit and all of the things so if you guys are interested in seeing some of the items that I picked up from their like fall collection then stick around okay y'all so we're gonna go ahead and get into it now you know how Zara is listen things sell out super fast so what I did was I posted a few of the items that I picked up on my stories just so you guys could um, access those you know before I got a chance to actually film this video so if you guys are not following me on Instagram please do it's at pockets and bows that way you'll get you know first look at everything Everything. But I did pick up some accessories that I did not show you guys on Instagram So we're gonna start with those just in case I decide to like style those up throughout the video That way you'll know all the details ahead of time. So let's go ahead and get started Okay, y'all. so my first jewelry piece is this snake bracelet when I saw this I knew I had to have it I don't have anything like this and I just really liked how it looked they also have a choker um, that is very similar but I went ahead and went for the bracelet because I would normally probably go for a necklace. I just wanted something different. So I'm going to put this on and show you guys how it looks. It is so nice, you guys. Isn't that so pretty? I know the lights are kind of bright, but I love this. It was $24, I believe. Let me make sure. This bracelet actually retails for $27.90. Now, it is a little, you know, kind of loose or whatever on me, but I still like it. I think it's really nice. You can kind of pull it down here. And I think this would look really nice with um, a dress, like a black dress or something like that. Or even if you wanted to wear a turtleneck and like pull the sleeve through, this would be really pretty. You can buy two and do double snakes if you want to, but... I just thought this was really nice. They had um, a lizard collection. I think it was more in the summer. And so now they're doing the snake collection in the fall. So this is really cute. Love it. And like I said, they do have a choker if you want to do like a set. But this is a really nice statement piece. So I think this is just enough. Next up, I picked up one of these flower chokers. And I really like this one. I actually got this when I was in Atlanta. I have some vlog footage that never made it. So if you guys are interested in seeing like my one day trip to Atlanta, then let me know down below. But I picked this up actually in store. I like this one because it had the long leather strings. So you can really adjust this and the strings are really thin, which really is good, you know, for me because I have a shorter neck. So I like this a lot, y'all. This was $17.90. And I just remember wearing these like back in middle school, going into high school. This was like my jam even in college a little bit when we were doing like the little um decorative scarves around our necks so yeah just a nice little play on you know an old trend and i guess these are coming back so this is really cute of course you can style this up with maybe like a tube top or a tube dress just with this as like your um statement piece or if you wanted to you could do like a white button down keep that um neck open and then put this on so many different options i just thought it was like a fun accessory and it's perfect for the fall they have a wine color that i really love too and i'm really getting into wine so i feel like i need to get that as well <laughs> but yeah this is super cute Okay, y'all. So next up, I have this scorpion necklace. How cute is this? I love it. Okay, so it is just kind of like an open type of necklace and you just kind of like lay it around. And I thought that this was really nice. Now I was torn between this and a choker, but the choker had spiders on it. I'm not a spider girl. I'm not saying I'm a scorpion girl but i would rather a scorpion around my neck than a spider i don't know it's just the spiders just was given to halloween for me i just felt like it was gonna be a little too costumey if you know what i mean um but yeah this i thought was really cute a nice little statement piece and if you are a scorpio honey you need this it is scorpio season right now so it's perfect but this is so nice you guys and it's nice and heavy too this little piece here and again i just like how it kind of just lays on the neck so when you wear something like this you don't need to do too much 
And this necklace retails for $35.90. So it is kind of pricey, but it does have a lot of intricate detailing and um, none of the stones have fallen out. I have purchased a few different necklaces um, with rhinestones. You know, I love my glitz and my glamour from Zara over the past few months. And I would say two out of the three um, have come with stones missing. So I had to return those. So that's really annoying. This one seems to be you know, much better quality. Um, but yes, this was $35.90. So speaking of the scorpion pieces, they also had these earrings and I wasn't sure if I would like the necklace enough. Um, so I went ahead and picked up the earrings too, because again, Zara sells out so fast. If you like something, get it, order it, try it on, and then just return it if you don't want it, you know? So these were $27.90. Now these are, let's see if you guys can see the lighting. So these are quite large in my opinion, but they are a nice statement piece. So yeah, I think these are nice. Let me know what you guys think. Every time I see like spiders or anything like this, it reminds me of America's Next Top Model when Eva the Diva, honey, when she had that spider across her face like this. So yeah, I just thought that these were nice and glam and just something different because I always wear like my little chandelier rhinestone earrings. And sometimes I want something a little bit more edgy. So maybe these will be that for me. We'll see. But $27.90. Okay, y'all. So next up, I picked up a pair of leather gloves. Now these are genuine leather and leather gloves are hugely on trend right now. So I live for a glove moment. I usually go for like the see-through tool gloves. I wore those like a couple falls ago. But these I thought were so pretty. I love this color. I love pink, y'all. Pink is one of my favorite colors. Even though I try not to wear it too often but it's definitely one of my happy colors, right? So I love this and I like the fact that it has like a purple undertone to it. So it does make it a little bit more fall appropriate, but these are super soft, you guys, very comfortable. I got mine in a medium. They come in a medium and a size large and these were a little bit pricey, but again, they are genuine leather. So these were $69.90. Now this was um, before the Sergio Hudson collection came out at Target. Target. Not sure how much those gloves are, but I do know that they are genuine leather as well. So if they are a little bit less expensive, you know, go for the Target version. But I didn't see this color, but I definitely want a red pair now and a black pair. Like long gloves, super cute. There's a million different ways you can wear these. You can actually wear these, you know, just to keep your arms and your hands warm in the wintertime with coats. Or you can make them very stylish how um, we've been seeing them paired lately with a tube dress, tube top, have these on on or you can wear it with like a white button down shirt, roll up those sleeves, throw the gloves on, um, maybe with some jeans or something like that. Um, so many options. I just think it's a really nice and fun accessory. It's just something different, something exciting. Like I wanna get excited about fashion, you know what I mean? So these are just really fun and I love them, love the color. Okay y'all, so I did pick up one handbag. I actually picked this one up in store. I just thought that this was so cute. I live for a metallic piece. Now this is obviously a silver, metallic bag is probably blinding you guys but it's a shoulder bag I just thought it was really cute because it's like that mirrored metallic look and I don't have a silver bag like this I only have my silver Chanel and though it's metallic it's a dull metallic you know it's not mirrored so I thought this would be cute for like just nights out and times when I don't want to pick up my rhinestone bags because that is like my go-to um, and you guys love that bag too my little bag that I got from Lulu's but this one in particular is just like a little bit more casual. You know, you can throw it over your shoulder and it fits comfortably on my shoulder too. It's giving Fendi Baguette vibes. So we always love that. We love a Carrie Bradshaw moment if we can get that for less. And the price of this, I'm not sure because it's not on here. Um, but let me look it up for y'all. Okay, y'all. So the price of this is actually $39.90, which not bad at all. As you can see, I have not worn it yet, but it does have a magnetic closure. It's not a snap closure. And I just think it's nice. You know, it's cute. It's fun. Just something to have, you know? So yeah, that's that. Okay, y'all. So the last of the accessories, I did pick up a couple pair of boots and these are the first pair. So these are some sparkly boots and they are like a slouchy boot, which I live for a slouchy boot. Okay. I live because jeans fit so well in them and I'm short. So it's just like a really 
edgy, cute vibe for me. Now these have rhinestones all over them and it is um, over a black boot. So the only thing about that is that you can kind of see that black down the, the middle seam there. Don't love that in particular. Also here you have a black heel. I'm not upset with the black heel because it is like a suede finish and that's cool to me. I don't think that it needed to be um, rhinestone all the way through. But what I will say is that these rhinestones are literally just glued on. So some of the rhinestones have kind of like moved around a little bit and that I don't love. And especially because it has some slouch that may happen more over time. I'm not sure. But these retail for $199. So I'm just trying to see if this is something that I want to keep. Um, they're very comfortable, in my opinion. Very, very, very comfortable. Easy to walk in. I love the pointed toe. It is a moment. You know, it is definitely a moment. I did go ahead and get a size 8 in these. Usually I get a 7.5, but I want to be able to wear thick socks. And they fit really nice. Um, I'm just wondering for 200 bucks, do I care enough about these uh, rhinestones just being glued on like this? And will this be a problem over time? You know what I mean? But in person, which the camera's doing these absolutely no justice, these are so sparkly, you guys. They are gorgeous. I'm going to see if I can actually capture that for y'all. So you can maybe be able to see just a little bit. It's very sparkly, okay? Very, very, very shiny. But you can also see that they are kind of glued on. They are glued on nicely. Don't get me wrong. I just don't want them to, you know, the rhinestones to fall off, you know? But really, really, really nice shoes. And if you uh, ever wanted to get your hands on those YSL rhinestone slouchy boots and you were not able to because they cost you an arm and a leg, these are a perfect dupe. I mean, we did have to wait years later, but it's still a statement piece and it still shuts things down. So I do like these for that, you know, very cute. All right, and here is my last pair of boots. You guys, listen, when I saw these, I had to have them immediately, okay? When they first put these on the site, they do this thing where they're like, all these new arrivals and you have to like sign up to be notified for when they actually become in stock, which I cannot stand. So I signed up and as soon as they were in stock in my size, I went ahead and grabbed them. These are some cowboy boots. So freaking cute. I love a shiny leather, you guys. Live for a shiny leather. These are not patent leather, but they are shiny. Very, very, very cute. With like flames and it's a neutral color. It is just one of those boots where you can wear these, um, you know, and be really comfortable, but still make a statement in your outfit because the heel on these are really low. It's a cowboy boot. And listen, I'm from Nashville. We are home of the cowboy boots. If you come here and you walk anywhere downtown, you're going to see a pair of cowboy boots. And if I have to have a pair of cowboy boots, it will be these, okay? Black and cream with flames perfect so these were $119 I don't believe that these are genuine leather though um but these are really 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 cute and I love them so much I would probably pair these super simply because I let the boot do the talking um maybe just a black sweater dress like a long black sweater dress or a midi length with these a jacket and I'm good to go I actually may wear these tomorrow to a concert but I love these y'all so cute perfect for the fall and winter and I feel like these are such a statement that I'll have these for years to come just because it's a moment like it's a moment in time for me I love these and they may not be for everybody <laughs> um cowboy boots are not for everybody but these are fabulous okay y'all so now it's time to move into the clothing pieces and recently I have been adding the models here so you guys can kind of see how the clothes look on the models and then I try them on and you guys have been loving that so we're gonna keep on with that theme okay so this first item that I picked up is a tool bodysuit now listen Zara has been all over 
Forever Tool this season. They have so many different pieces, sets, like top skirts, body suits, pants, so many different tool pieces. So I have picked up a few of them. And this first one is more of just like a tie-dye um, bodysuit. It's like a gray with some orange and green in there. And I just thought that it was something cute. You can see through it a little bit, but it's because it is a darker um, color, it's not super, super, super see-through, if you know what I mean. But I just thought that this would be really cute with either some gray jeans or some black jeans, um, black leather pants, black skirt, and just something different. And I love a good tool piece for when you go out at night in the um, fall and winter and you could just throw a jacket on. That way, when you go into like your bar or wherever you're going, you're not going to be too hot with this long sleeve on where you need to like have to take off your jacket. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? If you go to bars or like little lounges and stuff like that, it's very sexy without showing too much and you're still keeping warm, you know? And it's just something last minute to throw on when your friends call you up. And it's just something to throw on when your friends call you up last minute and y'all go get some drinks or something like that. So yeah, really cute. And this bodysuit was $25.90. So very affordable and I got this in a size large. Okay, y'all, so I have on the tool bodysuit and I love this bodysuit, y'all. I like the crew neck on this. I just like the colors. It's just something about it. I just like it. So I decided to do this with some gray straight leg jeans, just something different. I didn't want to do black, didn't want to do blue. You know, I could have been leather, but these gray straight leg jeans are really cute. And I'm just going to accessorize it with some silver um, accessories. So let's start with it. Okay, y'all, so I have all of my silver accessories. I have my um, silver pumps here my silver bag and some shades, girl. This is gonna be like a cute little fall brunch look or I don't know. I don't know where I'm gonna wear it, but it's cute and I'm gonna wear it. <laughs> okay, y'all, so here we are with the silver pumps on. I'm gonna add these silver shades. I picked these up from Amazon and they are impeccable, okay? You need these, like, can we say galaxy? Galaxy Babe, yeah, these are everything. They're metallic too, and they match my metallic bag perfectly. So I can just throw this on over my shoulder. What a cute vibe, like, don't y'all love this? I love this, so cute. Okay, y'all, so I also picked up a pair of parachute pants like i've been seeing a lot of these pants and i wanted to try my hand at it they are like a cargo parachute pants they have a rubber waist and y'all these pants run really big i mean they're supposed to be baggy hence parachute but we'll see i haven't like styled them up or anything with heels i just tried them on when i got home and i was like okay but they're very um casual it's like a nylon material but like a it's not a shiny nylon by any means, it's very dull, okay? But these are something that I've been seeing a lot of and yeah, I just wanted to see how they would fit. I'll let you guys be the judge. You can let me know how you like them. But I think these will be really cute paired with the um, tie-dye um, bodysuit that I have, the tool one. So you can just do that in a pair of boots or whatever. So yeah, just something different. You guys know cargos are hugely on trend right now. So you need at least one pair of cargos in your wardrobe for the fall and winter this year but these are just something like a little bit more casual you can also wear them with um sneakers if you want to as well and these retail for $49.90 and I did get these in a size extra large if I did not mention that already okay y'all so now I have the tie-dye tool bodysuit on with these parachute pants now what do you guys think about these parachute pants I like them because they're so comfortable it literally feels like I'm wearing nothing because they're so baggy and loose but I am short so I'm just like like, mm, is this the vibe for me um and they are like what is this material I don't know parachute material child let me stop trying to figure it out but they do have this like really um elasticated drawstring here I've tried to pull them as tight as I possibly can um but they're still kind of loose you know and they're supposed to be like this so it is what it is I just got to get used to the vibe so um this leg, I kind of pulled it a little tighter so you can see how it looks. And then this one, I left it a little looser so it can just flow over the boots. And yeah, 
this is how they look. I like the fact that they have pockets in the back. A lot of these don't have pockets in the back and I just think pockets are imperative, okay? So absolutely love the fact that they have pockets in the front and the back. And like I said, they're just super comfortable, y'all. You can't beat the comfort. Like it feels like you're wearing nothing. And this is what they look like a little bit up close. You can see the material of these. Now to style this up, I'm just going to pull out the greens in this look. You can pull out the oranges or the teals, whatever color you want. But I do have these green shades and I just want to brighten the look up a bit just in case I want to wear this during the day. So I have these shades and then I have my little Bottega Jody, and I like this. I think it's cute. What do y'all think? Black boots chill vibes but just like you know very now <laughs> very now the next tool piece i got is actually this top that i'm wearing here so this is a blue almost mimicking like blue denim or maybe water or something like that i have been wanting something like this for a minute and i've been keeping my eye out there's this website called affirm and they had this but it was never in my size and it was more of a denim look but when zara came out with this i had to grab it okay i had to so this is so cute y'all it's a darker denim so i like the fact that i can wear this with light denim dark denim i can wear it with black i can wear it with navy so many different options and I just think it's so cute I like it with the black bra underneath which is how I have it paired today and I also like the slits on the sleeves it's really cute y'all it's just the slits give a little flair but it's not giving 70s you know what I'm saying I mean you can take it 70s if you want to but it doesn't have to be 70s. Very cute. Love this so much. Now, I did pick this up in a size extra large and this um, retailed for $35.90. And I believe this one actually goes up to an extra, extra large. The last bodysuit only went up to a large and that's the size that I got. Okay, y'all. So here is the blue top, which I absolutely love. It is so comfortable, so breathable. Obviously, it is a sheer top. Love the mock neck detailing. And let me come closer so you guys can see how the sleeves look like. Look at the pattern on this, first of all. And then the sleeves with the little slit. I love it so much, y'all. Like this little, you know, I live for a mock neck, girl. I live for a mock neck. So this is the best shirt ever. You can wear this with a denim, like an all denim look, which I think would be really cute. Um, and yeah, I just love it so much. Now I also picked up a skirt. Now this skirt is in a navy and it's like a crinkle material. Um, when I saw the skirt, I thought this was really cute, but the only reason why I originally got it was because it came in a set with kind of like a boat neck, um, top, same exact, you know, material and everything. But when I got it in the mail, I just thought that the top wasn't given, but the skirt fit me so well, y'all, that I kept it. And I'm gonna pair it with actually this top that I have on. So it is so cute. It's a midi length and it's in a size large. It only comes in small, medium, and large. And the large fits really well. It does have a stretch waistband. And like I said, it is like a crinkle material. So I'm absolutely loving this skirt. And it didn't break the bank either, $39.90. So you know, pairing these two pieces together, I'd be having like a $70 outfit on and you can just accessorize however you would like. But I love this skirt so much and I'm usually not a person that goes for navy too often, but this skirt looks so good with this and it makes it look a lot more young. The uh, boat neck top that they had with it, it's just... Mm -mm. It wasn't given that, you know, it wasn't given that. But if you live for a set, why not? Go ahead and get it. Okay, y'all. So you can see that I did decide to pair the tool top with the blue crinkle skirt. Look at the blue crinkle skirt, y'all. How cute is this, right? So as you can see, it is a midi. It's pretty long on me, 5'1", but it is a midi. And let me come closer so you guys can kind of see the shine and how it fits me. This is in a size large. It only goes up to a size large and I have, you know, plenty of room, obviously. It's a stretchy skirt. So 
I think that um, this is just so nice and it's something different. You know, we always go with jeans. Well, I always go with jeans. So to add a skirt right now, I'm like, you know what? I'm feeling this vibe. And I still went with my overall aesthetic by keeping it kind of edgy. So I added these uh, patent leather boots. They're like an ankle boot. And I just think that they are really cute and I'm going to add and instead of going with like a little tiny bag I'm going to go with my black patent leather shoulder bag with the silver hardware and I just think that this look is so cute what do you guys think about it I love it now speaking of denim and tool I picked up this tool denim looking dress it's like a patchwork denim uh dress but it's not denim it's tool material and y'all everybody has this dress and i had to have it i got this dress a couple months ago now i went through a couple of sizes on this dress it does run big so when i ordered it online i got it in a size extra large i knew right away i did not want it to fit like the model it's kind of loose on the body so i was like you know what let me just do an extra large okay girl it was hanging okay it was just too big i didn't like it at all so of course by the time i received this dress and then went back on the website to purchase it again in a smaller size they only had an extra small and a medium okay if they would have had a large would have loved that but i ended up going with the medium and y'all i'm not mad at how it fits it fits more like a body con throughout the body part or the bodice and then it has a little bit of flair at the bottom i love the fit of it i'm not mad at the medium at all it does have stretch obviously um because a large would have been so much better but it also just depends on how you want the dress to fit you i just didn't want it to be kind of like that baggy look and go to 70s i wanted mine to be a little bit more feminine and sexy so I went with the medium and surprisingly it fits okay so I'll let you guys see how that looks as well and that dress retailed for $59.90 okay y'all so here is the patchwork denim tool dress like I said I did get this in a size medium and you can see how it fits like it still has that little bit of flair but it's a little bit more fitted through the bodice area which is what I wanted so let me come closer so you guys can see how it looks and you can kind of see like the little denim patchwork here. The sleeves on this are unlined, but the full middle is lined. It does have a blue, a light blue slip underneath here. And these sleeves also have that little slit detailing. So really cute. And you can see that it is midi length. And you can see it kind of comes to my ankles, even though this is supposed to be a midi length dress. So yeah, I think it fits really nice in the size medium. So if I were you and you wanted it to fit like this on you, then I would size down, okay? Because you don't want it to be like too loose and flowy. To me, it gives it a little bit more of a 70s vibe. And that's just not the vibe that I really wanted to go with with this. This is how it looks in the back. It does have a slit going up the back as well. So yeah, you can definitely move around in it super easily. You don't have to worry about that. You can pair this with sandals right now or moving into, you know, the cooler months. You can go ahead and add a pair of boots and a jacket on top. So, yeah, loving it. Now, moving on to the other pieces that I picked up that are not tool. One thing you guys are going to notice about this haul is that I have been on a denim kick. So there's a theme here. I also picked up a denim jacket and I've seen so many people with this denim jacket on as well. And fun fact about this jacket, it is actually a dupe of a rotate jacket i actually had a rotate jacket um it's a little bit darker but it's the exact same jacket it was four hundred dollars when i saw that zara came out with this jacket i immediately returned that jacket and got the version that was way cheaper okay so love this jacket so much it is a denim crop jacket and it has like the detached waistband so it can kind of hang down or you can kind of um fasten the waistband up different ways and just kind of make it more of a top if you want to now this denim jacket does run large i ended up getting this in a size large now it does go up to an extra extra large and you guys will see it on me it is a wide jacket so you can absolutely size down just depending on how you want the jacket to fit you and y'all this jacket was only 49 dollars 90 so i mean i'm literally saving 300 dollars by not keeping that rotate jacket so 
Zara is amazing for a good dupe. And honestly, the dupe is so much more worth it in this case because denim is denim. I mean, if it's like good structured, good denim, and this is really good denim. It looks like Levi's, you know, or something like that. So Zara does denim very well. So absolutely loving this and no regrets. Okay, y'all. So now I have on the cropped denim jacket and I just added it right over the um, tool denim dress. And as you can see, this jacket does run large. This is in a size large. It goes up to a double XL, but this is in the large and you can see it's quite wide. Um, I can fasten this up with no problem. And this is what I was telling you guys about with the like little detail. I thought that was really cute. You can kind of like fasten this up a lot of different ways. Like you can pull up the tab, you know, up here if you wanted to, just to make it like different you know but yeah i just thought that this was something different to have i do have a crop denim jacket but it's a little bit lighter than this and i like the wash on this one how it looks like really good rigid denim you know what i'm saying so let me know what y'all think about it this is okay y'all so speaking of tool i also picked up a tool dress now this dress i'm on the fence about so let me know what you guys are thinking about it this dress is a little bit like a tie-dye effect as well but i did like the colors it's like orange and pink and green in there black really 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 nice colors um I don't know. I like the ruche detailing. I kind of like the fit, but I kind of wish that it wasn't as high up on the neck as it is, unless it would be like a mock neck. You know, I live for a mock neck, but this one is just kind of like a crew neck. So I don't know. It kind of gives broad shoulders, but it is sleeveless. So I would definitely need to be wearing a jacket or I could do maybe some um, black long leather gloves with it, you know, or and some black leather boots. That would be really cute, actually. But I don't have black right now. So I'd probably just do... Um, you know, a black crop jacket or something with it, or you can do a blazer, whatever have you. But let me know what you guys think about this dress because it's just okay. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not head over heels for it, but I think I could probably style it up but how many times would I actually wear it? I'm not sure. And I did pick up this dress in a size large as well. A lot of the tool pieces only go small, medium, and large. Keep that in mind. This is one of the only ones that I noticed um, that went up to an extra, extra large. So yeah, got that in a large and you guys will see how it fits on me. It fits just perfect. And like I said, I love the uh, ruche detailing on it. So let me know what you guys think. Should I keep it or should I return it? Okay, y'all. So here is the tool dress that's like that tie dye material. So let me know what y'all think about this. It's not like just giving. I love the neon colors, but how it still looks fall. You know what I mean? I do like that aspect of it, but I think I would have liked it better if it was long sleeves. The fact that it's sleeveless, I don't know, really kind of throws it. Um, let me come closer. So you can see all the pretty colors and it has that ruche detailing here. So it definitely defines the waist. Love that. Um, you know, this is what it looks like in the back. So it does not have a split, I don't believe in the back, but it's, you know, you can move around in it just fine. I decided to pair it just with some thigh high boots, some thigh high uh, leather boots. And I think I wanna add this cropped leather blazer. This is also from Zara, but I got this a while ago. Um, so I'll try to link something similar down below. Okay, y'all, so here it is with the uh, cropped faux leather blazer. And then I'm just gonna add the Jody again because it can bring out the green. So styled up, I think it looks cute. But again, how many times will I wear this? Is it given that much to keep? I mean, it was only $39, but let me know what y'all think about it. Um, you can always make stuff look cute when you just add black, you know what I mean? I could do a blue bag with this too, maybe purple. I think that would be better. This was just already out, but um, yeah. What do y'all think about this dress? Should I keep it or should I return it? Now, I also picked up a denim corset in black and I love this corset so much, y'all. It is so cute. Now, I do have a, a blue denim corset that I wore more towards the end of summer is actually my avatar on Instagram and that denim corset ran larger so I got that one in an extra large but this black one it's made a little bit different and it's a little bit more rigid so I got this one in an extra extra large and it fits really good it zips up the front and my other one buttons down the front so love this so much y'all it's so cute and black denim corset like chef's kiss okay it is so nice i plan to wear this with 
all black denim and with my next piece that i'm going to show you guys you're going to see how good this is going to be it is so cute y'all but you can do so many different things with it you can always like my favorite thing to do is to add a white button up shirt underneath like any type of corset or um tube top type of you know situation so you can always do that when it gets a little bit colder but all black denim with this would be so cute and i can't wait to style it up so yeah love this i love the uh blue denim one so much that i had to get it in black and the corset was only 39 dollars 90 so i think that's a really good price okay y'all so here is the black denim corset now you can see why I had to get it in the black, even though I already have it in the denim. I absolutely love these corsets. Now, like I mentioned earlier, the black one is a lot more rigid than the denim, um, the blue denim one. So I did size up to an extra, extra large in this. And then the blue denim one is an extra large. So yeah, this is what it looks like. You can see it pushes the girls all the way up. It snatches you in the waist. It does have the zip detailing here. And what's crazy is that it's pushing my girls up. Up, but there's still a lot of space up here so my advice would be not to wear a bra because I have a bra on under here and I think it's just giving too much lift you know what I mean so I would not wear a bra with this which is very uncommon for me okay but this one will push you up and you still have plenty of room around the top part but yeah you absolutely need this corset girl it is every single thing I love it <laughs> so cute so next up i picked up a belted denim trench coat y'all this trench coat is so good okay it's a little pricey i guess it's 149 dollars, so you might as well say 150 bucks um but it is really really nice the quality of it is top tier and it fits amazing so it comes in small medium and medium and large i got the medium large and it is long on me i'm only five one so it does come down to my ankles but i love it so much and especially built it oh so good it's like the perfect oversized fit very comfortable very heavy as well so this can definitely take you into the beginning of winter because it is not a thin trench coat very heavy very good quality y'all so good you absolutely need this denim trench coat i promise you okay y'all so here is the trench coat on top this is the black denim trench coat in the size medium large and i am obsessed with this trench how good is this y'all it is super heavy amazing quality i just love everything about it every piece of detail on it um it does have the belt so you can snatch that waist in like this kind of open it up if you want to but yeah i love this y'all it is so nice and you can see how long it is on me now i have on some white shoes right now i wouldn't wear white shoes um i would probably do black but these were high enough because the pants that i have on right now are super long so this is what i was talking about as far as doing all black denim right so it's like that wash denim so i have the corset on with these cargo pants that i've picked up and i love these pants so much you need a pair of cargos and threw on the trench and y'all it's a full look i love it so much of course you can accessorize and all the things but i don't want to really like style it all the way up until i get my pants right you know what i'm saying so yeah this i love so much okay y'all so last but not least i picked up a couple of jackets and bomber jackets in particular which are really on trend right now i live for a bomber jacket girl so most of my bomber jackets i noticed are cropped so when i saw this one i knew i wanted it and this one is a little bit more on the dressier side um the material on this is really nice i got it in an olive green it also comes in black as well and it's a longer a little bit more like oversized bomber jacket so i just thought that it looked really nice nice really expensive it wasn't like super inexpensive it was 149 dollars so you know but i think the material of it is really nice and it does look a little bit more elevated in some of your like nylon bomber jackets so you can easily wear this as like um like an edgy workwear look especially if you're taller because this is long line so with like some slacks or something like that and some heels or some boots i think that would be really cute 
I probably would just wear it with leggings, like all black and leggings or something, but you can do so many different things with it. You can wear it with a dress, um, you know, whatever have you. But I just thought it was really cute and chill and just something different for me. And I picked up the bomber jacket in a size large. Now they call this taupe brown on the website, but to me it's like olive green, but I'll let y'all be the judge of that. So yeah, really like this a lot. Okay y'all, so here is the bomber jacket on. Like I said, I did get this in a size large. It's meant to be oversized. I absolutely love the fit, the material, the flow, everything about this jacket is so good. Um, it is a little bit more on the dressier side, but it's a bomber jacket. So of course it's going to be casual, you know what I mean? But this is the material really 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 nice so now you can see why i said this will be cute with some slack now i just decided to pair this really simply very casually so i just put on all black underneath i have on some black leggings and a black bodysuit with a mock neck <laughs> um my uniform okay threw this on on top and i threw on the uh givenchy shark boots just to give it a little bit more you know pizzazz because this could be a very like nothing type of outfit and i'm gonna add a large bag and i think i want to add my large silver givenchy bag i don't know i could go black right i could definitely go black i might but this brings out the silver in the boots and also the silver hardware in the zipper on this jacket so um yeah I would probably wear this to like a football game or something. I think this is like the perfect like casual football game, basketball game outfit. And yeah, you know, it's like you're giving, but you still look casual. You don't look like you're doing too much. So love these type of looks for like a sporting event. Or if it's still homecoming wherever you live, this would be perfect for that um, like tailgating because these boots are a wedge and they're really comfortable and you're just, you know, you're pretty chill, but you're still giving a full look. Also day party, tailgate, you know, you can move all throughout the day in this look and be really cute and stylish. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this bomber jacket. I absolutely love it. Okay, y'all, so last but not least, I almost forgot that I picked up this jacket. It's a moto faux leather jacket, and it's like, motorcycle jacket not just a regular old like faux leather jacket you know what i'm saying it kind of reminds me of um i need a girl video with diddy and who was it mario winans yes that kind of moto jacket so it has like the little stitching on the arms it's like that mandarin collar and this one is olive green and black i'm telling you guys i'm having an olive green moment right now so i had to pick this up i thought it was really cute i did get it in a size extra large and it fits nice um now that i have it in my hands i'm like mm, the faux leather is giving very much faux leather but i think it's still really cute they also have other colors too they have like a red and black and white i believe also a pink and black um and just all black and all cream so yeah i had to get the olive green because like i said i'm loving olive green at the moment but let me know what you guys think about this jacket as well you can just wear it so many different ways girl all black is always a good idea okay y'all so now i have on the moto jacket and honestly after trying this on it's really good okay <laughs> like this is so cute y'all okay so this is faux leather it does have like the moto detailing here on the sleeves and as you can see it is like a contrasting um faux leather with the olive green and the black the mandarin collar i live for like a collar like this it's so cute and it does zip up i did get this in a size um extra large and it zips just fine so i'll show y'all how it zips and it does have a shiny zipper okay so this is how it zips which i love little cropped moment i like how it has this dip in the back too right there in the middle very cute like the jacket is very detailed so i highly recommend this and if this is not your color vibe then like i said they do have like pink um red all cream all black so yeah i really like this y'all cute and it's lined it's pretty warm i mean i'm burning up in the house right now but yeah it's pretty warm so cute let me know what y'all think. All right, y'all. So that's the end of my Zara haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Zara has some really nice, fun pieces for the fall and winter. Let me know if you have been shopping Zara like I have. Also, I will make sure to link everything that is still available down below. I hope 
all of these items are still available for you guys and in your size um, because you know how Zara does. But I'm going to do my best to link everything down there. And I'll also put the size that I chose in each item. Now, I do normally wear a size 14. So just keep that in mind. I've gotten a plethora of different sizes throughout this video and you guys have seen how they fit on my body um, throughout the video as well. So hopefully this was helpful for you. If it was, give it a thumbs up and I will talk to you on my next video. Bye y'all.